I've been people watching since I can remember seeing people. Some would consider it intrusive on the cusp of becoming a fully fledged stalker. I'd say I am more of a keen observer. I love faces. I like the wordlessness of it all. I like to pick them apart and put them together again. I like to wonder where the features come from. But, Mum, Dad, uh, forgive me, uh, I, I was just... I wish there was a way I could return the world to how it once was or just escape to another and linger on all your exterior glories. No, I don't want to know who you really are. What would my imagination have to play with? Instead, save your true selves for those that love you. I just want to see you as you've presented yourself to me on the 8am train to Waterloo and drink it up. You see, I was always encouraged to discover new ways of seeing. I didn't grow up with much, so I would often rely on my imagination and suddenly the world just got bigger, more profound, infinite almost. The older I got, the more my imagination shifted from silly and absurd to trying to create the truest portrait of a person with such little information. Everybody is complicated and contains multitudes. But that's probably why I like to do it so much. It can never be complete. People watching Quells My Nausea. My name is Katija and I have travel sickness. When did it begin? Since the first journey I made as a kid. It's been awful. It gets so bad. It feels as though I could throw up my own heart. I know what you're thinking. It can't have been that bad. You were just a child. Listen, yeah? I didn't gently cough up tiny pink puddles. I am talking rivers of puke. I was deemed such a nuisance by my teachers that I was no longer able to attend trips. They stopped me from getting the coach to swimming lessons. So yeah, I can't swim. My travel sickness might actually cause me to drown. Oh shit. I can't pinpoint when my cover was blown exactly, but it was. Suddenly, my movements are all anyone can see. You see, my visibility would come in waves. The pattern would go attack, grief, police presences, protests, increase in police presences, and again. But there used to be months in between, years even. Now it's all the time, which means I can't fade away. I will always be watched. Now I have to consider that someone could be looking at me, me, and see violence, death, madness. I want to keep looking. So what if I made them see how lovely I am by plastering it across my face with a smile? Problem with that is my uh, train journeys are close to an hour and a half. I could only come across as a sociopath. It was then I realised, as well as keeping my nausea away, people watching has muted all my anxieties. The most frustrating thing of all is I can remember how great it was before, which leaves me having to make do, so until then I'm going to have to think on my toes. What if I stopped looking at people altogether? How about smelling? The thing with that is, there are good smells and bad ones. As soon as you've settled into a delicious one, right? One that you want to sniff out further. In crashes an overwhelmingly shitty one and that kind of betrayal just doesn't go away. All because you felt safe for a second. No, I don't like smells. That's a the thing. There's no such thing as a bad face. Listening? Uh, yeah, uh, that could be insightful, except that the train is so loud, the second a conversation has piqued your interest, a louder sound bludgeons it. I know what you're thinking. Why don't you read? Listen to a podcast? Oh, I've tried, but when I focus on something too hard, it only elevates my nausea. Right. I'm the problem. So I'll probably have to fix myself, of course. I could change. 
I could fashion my hijab into a head wrap. Why didn't I think of this sooner? But the second I start to put the look together, I realise why I never committed to it in the first place. It's hard when you have flat ears and heavy cheeks, you resemble the eggplant emoji in a crown. It was then I realised I've somehow managed to go unnoticed all this time. Maybe it's because I was a child and they didn't think of me as people yet, or at least void of the kind, cruel judgments adults make, because, well, I was still a hijabi then. Maybe I should find new ways of playing with my hypervisibility. But how? Look sad and suddenly pull a duck with a tiny top hat from my bag and then start screaming, see, I bet you never thought of that. Okay. Pulling things out of a bag and screaming, worst idea so far, surely. Maybe it's time to hang it up completely. Sure, it's something I've unknowingly trained in. I almost put it under my list of skills on a job application. It just grounds me. It makes me feel so human. I get the same kick that Attenborough gets when he looks at a chimp. Yeah, it is the same. The public sphere has taken over so much, they think they see something in me and it's something that couldn't be further away from the truth. So as I quietly abandon my most comforting of hobbies, I hope you don't mind if I just stay a while and 